Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, this lady, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Cranston, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody stars. you are. Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? Well, I say what's right and what's wrong. I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Oh, bollocks. B, I presume. are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies, but we've learned of a threat on your life, and the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Here. What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency. Hey! Get back here with that Prime Minister! Everyone all right? We seem to have come Let's through go. unscathed. You have our sense, Mr. Crowley. It was Gladstone. I bet my life on it. This is perfectly in keeping with this stink out of Show yourself, Gladstone! Show yourself, you feckless muck snipe! Oh, He will pay for this. Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough-and-ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. Well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry! Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. 
Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. Neatly done, young man. Dizzy ought to keep you on to deal with the Liberals. Now, a drive is in order, I think. I certainly don't intend to walk the entire way to Devil's Acre. Oh, what a rough place. Give me your arm, Mr. Fry. Let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. Do you know this gentleman is a... Ladies, is it? Yes. A gospel monger. <laughs> oh, things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. Everything all right? Oh, yes. I've just learned to whistle. Right. Why, Mr. Fry? I do believe that man is drunk. I expect you're right, madam. I'm going to ask what he's having. Perhaps you'd let me recommend something instead. Oh, Mr. Fry. Look at those two. Uh, yes, they, uh, they seem to be, um... I've been married twice, Mr. Fry. I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are. The old one-ton pub. Best beer in the Devil's Acre. Marvellous! <laughs> so, this is a pint, is it? Huh? <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> nice doggy. <laughs> You never told your father how you felt about him. How was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Hmm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Who's a good boy? Well, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome man. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens. Campaigning against the Corrupt Practices Bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government could ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very discreet.
Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Uh, thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. <laughs> Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. There you are! <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, do, 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 do. come with me. Your Majesty, may I present Miss uh, Evie Fry? You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's. Mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. <laughs> <laughs> 